Carbonyl collision. We can see this problem mathematically, right? So let's see this problem mathematically. Do I have a E over here? If I see the problem last night, then I can say, okay, this is constant collection to second order, second order in homogeneous differentiation. And that equation would have the solution, general solution, composed by two topics. One is homogeneous solution and the other one is particular solution. Right? So everybody vaguely remember <laughs> we did learn, we, we did study that kind of things in maybe two years ago. Right? What does homogeneous solution mean? Okay. Homogeneous solution Excitation is zero, right? Really? I could then my question is if there's no excitation, how can we get vibration? <laughs> Initial condition. So rather than saying there is no excitation, if you are twice the student, then you could say if there is no external force, but we allow to have initial displacement or vibration. So physically means, homogeneous solution physically means that when this one is vibrating by this excitation force, okay, this is vibrating, right, because of this excitation force, that is F of T. And the, the vibration has two components. One is, because when I start to excite this, there must be some initial displacement or initial velocity, right? I successfully give the initial velocity to the vibrator, right? How did I do that? I gave the impulse, and I used the principle of impulse and momentum. So physically, of X of T as the response due to initial condition means that initial displacement or initial velocity. An interesting thing we can observe is that initial displacement will give me the response for some because I have initial displacement, therefore the response would be like, like this. That is cosine. And in, when I have initial velocity, then the, dis, the response looks like the sine. So response due to initial displacement and initial velocity is different, sine. Meaning that there is a phase difference. Because sine and cosine has to face it. Okay, that's an important point. And plus response due to excitation of Okay, let's let's see. 
homogeneous solution first, because this chapter handles homogeneous solution. In other words, free response. Free means free that it is free from excitation. That's what we call free response. <coughs> then the governing equation That's what we did in the last match. Okay. And then gives me gives us characteristic equation that is lambda square m plus k equal zero. And we call characteristic and this gives me lambda is equal to and the square is equal to minus k over n therefore lambda is equal to omega n square is equal to k over n that we call Mathematics gives us a very interesting thing. And somebody would ask, why you call this is natural frequency? Does it relate to it with some natural food? Solution will look like 